Hello, welcome back to our Canada Travel and Immigration Channel. We hope you are well. Do you know, recent draws have been seen. ITAS issued by four provinces. Well, the provincial immigration invitation was sent by Prince Edward Island, British Columbia, Quebec and Manitoba. In this episode, we will talk about these four provinces and share recent news on immigration to Canada. So to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video till the end. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell to know the next episodes. So without further ado, let's get to the video of applicants who want to apply through provincial immigration programs. Invitations were received from British Columbia, Quebec, Manitoba and Prince Edward Island this week. With the exception of Quebec and Nunavut, most of Canada's provinces and territories manage their PNP through these initiatives. Interested candidates may receive an invitation to apply for a provincial nomination. Receiving a provincial nomination can help you become a permanent resident. Quebec's immigration policy is different from that of Canada and is administered by the province. Only Quebec has jurisdiction over the immigration of all economic classes. Each year, 1,5,000 PR registrations are made under the provincial nominee program. The annual number of PNP admissions began in 1998 and has steadily increased since then. Both the federal and provincial governments see it as a useful tool to promote economic growth outside of urban areas. Now let's talk about the provincial immigration results from December 1st to December 8th. First, Quebec. On November 24th, Quebec invited 998 qualified people to apply for the permanent residency option and another 513 by December 1st. Candidates needed a job offer outside of the Montreal metropolitan community. An acting bug reached a minimum preference of 633 points for the November 24th draw, not specifically aimed at any NOC. Candidates with a certain NOC and a job offer from outside the metropolitan community of Montreal drawn on December 1st, candidates must have a record of our expression of interest with a minimum of 589 points. The Department of Immigration, Refugees and Integration have sent invitations to immigrants who have applied under the Quebec Ordinary Skilled Worker Program. The deadline to apply and pay the processing fee for those invited by Quebec to apply for a permanent residence option is 60 days. From the date of receipt of all required information, Quebec plans to process the completed application for six months. This covers all documents and forms. In British Columbia, the province held a targeted technology draw and invited 144 candidates from the skilled worker and international graduate categories, as well as express entry candidates. Candidates need a score of 95 or higher to participate in technical drawing similar to the Express Entry Comprehensive Ranking System. Candidates applying for BCPNP only on the following holidays are also the subject of tours at the invitation of the province. 132 preschool teachers and CNP assistants 42 to 14 with a score of at least 60. 212 postgraduate healthcare workers for international skilled workers covering the Express Entry category with a score of at least 60 points three other preferred occupations with a minimum score of 60. Let's have a look at the third province, Manitoba. A total of 305 people were invited to apply through Manitoba's nominations program. Candidates must meet the minimum requirements associated with the program in order to be invited and accepted by the state. One Manitoba skilled workers issued 206 invitations with a minimum score of S-775. Two foreign experts 43 invitations with the lowest score of 673. Three International Education Stream has issued 56 invitations with no points requirement. All expressions of interest submitted before November 16 will continue to be processed by the state after the 2016 NOC, and all EOIs submitted after November 16 will be reviewed after the 2021 NOC increase. Finally, Prince Edward Island accepted its 69 candidates on December 1. This increases the total number of applicants the state has invited in 2022 to 1,721 candidates for pay. A nominee with express registration must submit a separate expression of interest to pay PNP. The Express Entry Comprehensive Ranking System will be used to assess EOI profiles and, similar to the CRS, applicants with the highest scores will be invited to apply in a monthly drawing. That's all for today's episode. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching the whole story. We hope you find this information useful. See you in the next episode. Until then, take care.